Aha. Got another email. You're watching the mailbox. I'm Yusuf Estes. This one's kind of interesting here. It says, is Reba haram or is it just mahru? <laughs> Reba is the word in Arabic for usury or interest that is a gain on money when it's put out to loan. And in this case, it's not only haram, it's very seriously haram. And this is mentioned in the Quran in the last part of Surah Baqarah. Go to chapter 2, verse 276 and read all the way up to verse 280, I think. And that area, you're going to find that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it likes for you to give charity, but he hates for you to loan money out if at a gain. And he even says that he will forgive you, you know, for this, provided you stop, cease and desist, and don't engage in it. But if you continue, then be apprised of a war declared on you by Allah and His Messenger. And so that's very serious. Don't do that. And now let's come to this word, makhru. Makhru is also a form of haram. It's a lesser form of haram, according to the earlier scholars. Today, somebody say, oh, it's just frowned upon. But it actually means hated. You shouldn't do it. And if Allah hates something, why would I want to do it anyway? Okay, we've got another one. It said, Can a Muslim marry a Christian? She is very nice, does not drink or do drugs. She loves the Lord. Well, you can under some circumstances. First of all, if she's a believer in the book. Second of all, if she has never committed adultery and she knows it's haram to do so. Some people will say, well, yeah, but she made tawbah. I don't know how her tawbah works because you need to be a real Muslim to do this, to make true tawbah. Good question on that one. But I would recommend you be very careful, especially in a non-Muslim country because you won't have your rights, nor will your children. Whenever they are born, they won't have the right of protection to be raised in Islam. It's a good question. Uh, okay, here, we just got this come in. It says, if I enter Islam, do I have to give up my career in music? Hmm. I love to perform in front of people. I'm very good in singing, and I make people cry with my acting in my music. Okay, let's do this. First of all, I was in the music industry for 30 years before I came to Islam. When I realized the ramifications and the, and the effect that music really has on people, how it really distracts them from Allah, it distracts them from the message of Islam and takes people away from listening to the Quran and the teachings of Islam. So I totally gave it all up. Now, if you want to do that, that's up to you. I recommend that you stay away from music, especially while you're learning about Islam. Listen to the Quran being recited. And if you have a talent for voice, try learning how to recite the Quran. Sit with the scholars of the Quran and let them help you with this. This is very important. But whatever you do, get into Islam, even if you have the music, because it's better, you know, to be have some sin, but to be a Muslim, than not to be a Muslim. So make your shahada and get started as soon as you can. Go to our website to get much more details. Go to islamnewsroom.com and then type in the word music. And that will help you with that. That's the mailbox for today. Till next time, peace. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.